Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being part of this family, Evolutionary e -E Arts and Hearts Home, as well as our Patreons and also those that are supporting us over on Ko-Fi. On Patreon, we just did this one. We tried to do it last night, and I guess um, they didn't want us doing it last night because we got blocked. Um, but also, we weren't able to get anything up on uh, Brighty and Rumble and, and BitChute yesterday. You know, again, it is everywhere uh, as far as uh, the difficulty working through the system. And I don't think there's any place that's not monitored and that they can't influence um, in some way, shape or form what's going up. But we're able to speak a little bit more openly on uh, Patreon at this time. And we're going to hopefully keep it that way. We understand there's keywords that we got to omit from our vocabulary and we could still talk about the bigger picture because this is the bigger picture as you see this post a uh, half hour ago seven foot tall flying aliens attack a tribe in peru more than once actually it's going on on a nightly basis and and also a similar occurrence over in brazil but on this video uh we're going to talk about the the war tensions which are building Oh boy, are they ever building really quick though. We, we said it on the other video, but I want to say a huge shout out. Thank you to Sean, Juliana, Troy, and Raymond. You guys, we really appreciate your support so much. Yes, as we are closing in on two, 200 Patreons, which we are very, very grateful for. And you know, we have that core group of people that don't miss a video and that's beautiful. That really makes it feel like home when you have people that you see on all three channels making comments. So over 3000 troops have arrived in the Persian Gulf as tensions between Washington and Tehran threaten to boil over. Uh, you know, everywhere you look, there's the lines are being drawn and basically again as we were talking about the BRICS nation and the NATO nations <laughs> are are gonna end up just going at it head to head and again if you want to talk about fair fights there are no fair fights in this world there are no fair fight fights in this world because there's nothing but manipulation deception underway and these fights don't have to be. That's the bottom line. They serve multiple purposes. As we look to Turkey, powerful explosion has destroyed what? The Turkish grain depot. This holds up to 8 million tons of wheat, barley, legumes, chickpeas, and lentils and been highly stocked to lessen the impact of war. Extremely bad news for citizens. Yeah, you know, again, the Black Sea area is absolutely a gorgeous area it's a beautiful area on this planet it's so sad that war has to come anywhere on this planet because in reality it doesn't have to come i do think again the people of the planet can get along as you see a, a video of this explosion we can get along it's the leadership of the planet that doesn't want us getting along that serves multiple purposes, as you're going to see. Boom. There it goes. Okay. I didn't know wheat was highly combustible. I mean, I know beans can give you gas, but this is ridiculous. Uh, that's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I don't know. You know, I mean, it's just, it's sad. They keep going after the same thing, going after food. Um, and they blame everything on us. You know, again, Mike said, we, the regular people, we really want to get along. That's what we crave. But the others, they can, they crave control. Absolutely. It's chaos. It's order out of chaos. And, and that's what we have on this planet nonstop in these uh, dark times. Russia and China send large naval patrol near Alaska. As Russia and China have been um, coordinating their military moves to a much higher degree because China hasn't even entered this yet. And when they enter it, it'll, it'll totally change. And don't forget, too, North Korea, while it might be an impoverished nation, it does have one of the largest militaries in the world. And then we have Iran. And we have so many countries throughout Africa and Latin America that are going to be on the BRICS side. Whether or not their people want war which most people don't want war 
Four U.S. destroyers were dispatched to monitor the Chinese and Russian ships. We are getting close. We are getting close. And uh, the world will be completely at war on this timeline, I would say, within uh, within six to nine months. I, I do expect that it'll, it'll be on as far as officially NATO versus... Uh, NATO versus BRICS. 11 Russian and Chinese ships steam close to the Aleutian Islands, according to U.S. officials. The ships never entered U.S. territorial waters and have left since. They were shadowed by four destroyers and P-8 Poseidon aircraft. Yeah, the war games never stop. They never stop. Alaska is fascinating, too, by the way, as, you know, again, Cindy's um, Cindy has family that have lived up in Alaska and actually in, in the area which the movie The Fourth Kind was supposed to take in place or at least the, there are documented cases, many documented cases of people going missing and never never coming back up in Alaska. Obviously you have a lot of bears and wildlife and, uh, and such that can be top level predators but there's other reasons as well and meanwhile here we are you ever wonder why we have all the reports of food fighters in wartime i mean the same drones that we're talking about now the same ones uh that the the military has said these aren't ours just saying they're not ours we don't think they're russia's or china's they do things that you know we can't do, and we don't think Russia and China can do this. Well, they were there watching in World War II. They watch volcanoes explode. There's all sorts of ships here all the time. We've never been alone. Never been alone. And if you think it's all fallen angels, you still believe in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. Just saying. U.S. Navy and Marine Corps announced the large-scale exercise uh, 2023 for August 9th through 18th with six carriers and 25,000 personnel. This is going to simulate a global conflict, a World War III-type exercise. Seven fleets in 22 time zones. This is huge. LSE 2023 is the second iteration of this exercise. LSE 2023 brings together a combined firepower of the Navy and Marine Corps teams across six maritime component commands, seven numbered fleets, and 22 time zones. The exercise is scheduled to run from August 9th through 18th. You know, this, more like towards the 18th, as uh, if it's just felt like something could happen in this time frame, an expansion of sorts, the latter part of August, but most definitely when we are heading into the fall. So the ability to command and, and control our operations, of course, 22 time zones is how we will fight and win in a global environment against our competitors. Uh, so says Caudill, to do so, we have to globally synchronize precision and timing in order to conduct high-end modern warfare. Yeah, this is a massive, massive exercise. And, you know, as we've been talking about the outlay, and uh, as, as, of, as of this time, uh, the time I had checked last, I will check again now, uh, we didn't have today's fleet tracker, which we get on Mondays. Sometimes it's a little bit later, uh, July 31st. You know, so when you see the outlay of this, this is unusual, but again, we are in unusual times. You know, look look at this. We have the Healy up here. Now, this is all for these quote-unquote war games. You got three strike forces here that that could hit Syria. Uh, this one certainly could hit Iran. It's right off the coast. And by the way, uh, you know, the BRICS nations are building up their uh, forces in the area as well. You have two here inside uh, the Mediterranean and then you, you're, you're in a protective uh, zone of Australia and, and um, the U.S. and Canada. Uh, yeah, I, we're getting very close. We're getting very close. This, this is, uh, from my perspective, unusual, the way the layout is. It is um, definitely something to be aware of. So, you know, anything could happen at any time. 
but we are most definitely getting closer. And I would see it to me, it seems likely that they would want to create an expansion in the conflict. We've seen issues going on in Belarus. We have Wagner there. Of course, that whole Wagner ruse. Oh, they're going to go overthrow Putin. Come on. These guys ate together, drank together, partied together all the time. You know, no. That was just about getting the um, the forces over into Belarus where they will attack Poland and Lithuania and, you know, move forward from there when the go is given. And uh, again, this is this is time for us right now to be as prepared as we possibly can be. Uh, get yourself as situated as possible. Be able to grow something for your family. Again, you know, there's hydroponics that you can do in an uh, apartment, in, in a small house. Um, we have to be ready because I do think that when the big attack comes, uh, I would expect there's going to be grid out situations. And there very well could be one that lasts months, if not weeks. Months is is a, is a possibility, and there's going to be a lot of confusion. So, you know, be ready to just write it out at home and work with your neighbors, friends, and family. The psychopaths that, that run this world are very intent on this. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the easiest things to do without a lot of equipment would probably be sprouts, and they're so, so, so nutritious. You can make those with just, you know, those regular mason jars and and some water. So just having something that you can have within a, a day or two would would be good. And then, of course, other backup. Yeah, and I, I think we probably have 100 mason jars or more, which is probably the bare minimum. You know, for it's just the two of us, well, the dogs, and they do out-eat us. But again... This is getting close. The guides have said, uh, and it, it was really rare that they gave any timeline, uh, but they showed volcanoes going off in what we take to be the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it, and it did look the most like Shasta, but it could be uh, elsewhere as well as yeah, the possibility of farther on up in the Pacific Northwest. And they also showed war going on from what we felt was war on U.S. soil, and that timeline they gave us would take us to uh, next summer. So expansion in Europe is is most definitely a possibility because, again, create a draft, pull more people away uh, from defending uh, the U.S., going elsewhere, and then create, say, a Taiwan invasion, and then you have forces being pulled everywhere, and then we're just wide open because we already have millions within the country. Same thing with the EU countries. Yellow files for bankruptcy blames union for 30,000 American jobs lost. Again, this is a total power structure shift, and it's just basically shifting the home base of operations to a new location. So, you know, no longer will it be one of those uh, cities on seven hills, you know, Rome's on seven hills, Jerusalem's on seven hills, London's on seven hills, and same thing with D.C. And of course, you know, D.C. is its own entity, the Vatican's its own entity, London's its own entity. I wonder if Beijing is. Hmm, that's interesting. Very curious. Yeah, that would be, because again, it's it's just a shifting Meanwhile, we have two firefighting helicopters crashed mid-air con- collision while fighting brush fires. Brush fires all over the world. And, of course, the Canadian fires and people saying uh, that it certainly smells more like chemicals than wood burning. And we saw the same thing in so many locations around the globe. All part of that agenda. Russia, 98 fires broke out in uh, Yakusha, 13 districts. Yeah, it's, again, the people, the average people in Russia and China, you know, are obviously oppressed, but but it's because the whole globe is oppressed. And then we have those that take advantage of others, and here's a homeowners association board arrested, the entire board, (laughs) over 2 million stolen from residents after a 300% fee hike passed in secret. You know, it's sad, but this is the... This is the times that we're in where people are taking advantage of people instead of helping. But there's always going to be people that will give you the shirt off their back. 
And these times are going to try everybody, and it's really going to it's going to show us what we're made of. Mm-hmm. It is, you know, we're going to really understand how strong we are because that's when we do figure out how strong you are is when you pick yourself back up. Yes, absolutely. And in Dallas, a model smart city project bears fruit. So this was a troubled neighborhood in Dallas that they put uh, free Wi-Fi in 190 homes over 21 acres. They put new LED street lights. A a total of 52 different devices were added, including environmental monitors, gauging air quality, AI-enabled overhead cameras, you know, upgrades, they only spent about $4 million. It didn't take much. And um, again, this is what's going to be coming is they're going to take parts of existing cities and turn them into these smart cities that they're going to herd populations into, uh, entice into with all sorts of of benefits. Again, uh, you know, that will probably include universal basic income, of course. You just got to be hooked up to the system. Just got to be hooked up to the system. Okay, I I just got to show this one thing. I'm going to hand it off. (laughs) They do. They they want things to be very convenient for them and for us to uh, fall into that without any problems. And, you know, one of the concerns that I have is they're making it so easy and efficient for people to have internet and work from home, which is wonderful. Great. We get to spend more time with the family. But what what's you know what's the catch with that? There you go. See, she says I'm gonna pay for my f- my groceries with my hand. This is what I was talking about yesterday, and she's so happy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Coolest thing ever. Oh, some people are naive, really naive. Unfortunately, UFO cover up treaties abductions and MJ 12 majestic 12 yeah late UFO insider John Lear you can't count the number of people that have come out over the years and given us uh, a, a lot of truth a lot of truth yes there there can be a little bit of distortion so when that time comes uh, there will be a twist and again it could be hey these are the Enkiites these are the good guys it was just Enlil that was the yeah the butthead let's say ah yeah and this includes uh governmental permission for abductions which again go check out the peru video there's a lot of different types of grays a lot of different types of grays and again they are everything from biological to totally not biological totally mechanical so to speak uh there's everything in between some of these come from our own human homo sapien dna uh other ones are are created using um dna taken from cows and we've seen so many cows unfortunately um that have their organs taken out they have their genitalia taken out they Uh, have various holes in them that look to be cut with lasers. Yeah, because again, what they do is they create these beings that are perfect servitors. These these beings uh, that will obey and just simply utilize the technology that is literally embedded in their bodies uh, to carry out their missions. And some of that technology is very much like Predator in that if you remember the Predator movie, it had a cloaking device. Well, that is real. And some of these have embedded into them the ability to cloak. And it is a technology. Uh-huh. And very much a hive mind. So they do as they're told. That's the programming. And that's the scary part of it is they just do as they're told. There's no thinking, oh, that's horrible. There's no second thoughts. It's just going forward with instruction. Yeah, and and both, you know, Cindy and, and my family have three generations of uh, visitation from these beings. And, you know, now at this point in time, they, they can't get very close to us, but they are, they're always on the perimeter. Uh, and they are always watching, and they track certain bloodlines, and they also track certain individuals because they can tell who the soul is not necessarily these guys but these guys just take orders from from others 
that are unseen, uh, the ones that are unseen know who the soul is that's going to incarnate in a certain body because the 3D, 4D are, are really two sides of the same coin. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So again, you know, they monitor because uh, it just as the elites come into certain bloodlines, uh, so will those of uh, certain federations of a galactic type. To leave it at that. Mommy is always there for you. Yes, that love that you get from your mother. Now, you know, again, they've taken away the whole divine feminine with the patriarchal society, and, and that's done on purpose. Again, it, it's cutting us off from the mother and all the gifts that she gives us that enables us to be manipulated. And this is why they've done what they've done with the, uh, the most numerous belief system that, that is out there that again is always talking about our father but never our mother it's it's part of the whole control matrix and <clears throat> this is why you have all the hormonal imbalances going on as well it's all about a distortion mm -hmm. it is it, it's so sad and some people even look at the mother energy as something that's very very evil and that's just built into mm. our culture mostly out here in the west um but there's really nothing like that loving accepting embrace of mom when you have that acceptance from mom everything just everything every bad thing just melts away and you feel so much better and actually really raises you up in vibration when you're able to find that acceptance sometimes it, you got to find it within yourself but it's really nice when it comes from mom or somebody like mom. So <clears throat> stay as prepared as possible out there, guys. Keep your vibes high. That's the key uh, to, to truly uh, your own personal protection is, is keeping your vibes high with a daily spiritual practice, a meditation, yoga, qigong, tai chi. These, these type of mind, body, breath practices that can ground and root us, get out into nature. Be very aware of what you're eating and what you're putting in your body that can alter your, your chemistry and that can al alter your perception, alter your own frequency because they are all about lowering the frequency. And while we are in times uh, that can be very, very hazardous, we have to be aware of the hazards around us while keeping our frequency high. So that is a tricky thing. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.